<laughs> there are 10,000 ways to God, and uh, we'll get into them next year. We've gone, gotten quite a few hundred done already. But, uh, so I thought we'll start uh, with the last uh, slide. Uh, have we got a last slide? Oh, yes, we do. Oh, that's today's lecture. I never know what today's lecture is, so I see it on the screen. <laughs> People say, what are you talking about today? I say, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know until I get here. But people don't like that. They want, it, want you to have a label for, for it, see? Isn't that great, right? The girls in the office say, people call and say, well, what's the lecture about? Well, what do you think it's about? It's about everything. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> We have to make up something for them to be happy so they sleep. You, know? <laughs> you notice when you pass churches, they always have Reverend So-So who is speaking Sunday on, and then they, he's probably making it up. They'll say, I don't know, put anything up there looks good. <laughs> Faith and prayer, that's a good one. Faith and prayer. <laughs> Why? Because every point in life, is an avenue to God. Every single point at every instant is an absolute doorway. Uh, but today we are talking about spiritual fiction and myths. Uh, we try to you know, be timely as well. We live in a world and uh, we don't want to disparage the world, but see what's going on. And of course right now spiritual fiction is, is selling very big. 